know what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rip the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, according to uh, Mike Coverger, Terrence Crawford, and uh, what's his name? Sean Porter Purse has been pushed back again. Let's talk about it also. People getting on Josh Taylor for calling out Ugas and not Spence and, and Bud. But if you call it off Spence, people be saying uh, Spence only had one eye. So I don't hold nobody against not calling off Spence while you're injured. And then also with Spence too, uh, there's two different sides of the streets. So the same people that's they say Bud, you know, on the wrong side of the street, so it's Josh Taylor. He signed with top rank. All right, so that that's also a fact. We we'll talk about that, but uh, thumbs up to be sure you're subscribe to the channel. Appreciate that. It's the best way to donate. Want to make a financial donation? Cash App CJ Good three one three, Venmo CJ Good three one three, PayPal link description. I appreciate all donations you guys do. So uh, so apparently it's pushed back to uh, September fourteenth. All right, and that uh, then that's the purse bid. They need more time to negotiate. A purse. I see. I've been talking about this fight for like two years already. I had plenty of time to negotiate this fight, or years to change. So I'm not trying to hear that. You keep pushing this shit back. Is it gonna happen or not gonna happen? You do all this, get people excited, and the fight don't happen. Then what? That's my issue. And then what? You know. So. So that's 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 my thing, man. You keep pushing this back. They had a whole year to change to negotiate it. They had plenty of time to talk about it. Let's talk about fighting, baby. Let's talk about fighting. Now they want to, you know, at the end of the day, man, this is not, I, I wouldn't mind the fight. But this fight ain't for, uh, he's not going to get, how can you call it? He's not going to get, uh, he's not going to get, um, validity. It will be no validation. They just move the stick back. But you can say the same thing about fighting Ugas. You can say the same thing about fighting uh, Keith Thurman at this point. Earl play fight. Same thing about fighting Earl Spence. All right, somebody, somebody, twenty-four year old Illinois. I'm not gonna say allegedly using the fake COVID vaccine card to enter. They said that's seven years. Johnny said that's seven. My boy Johnny said that's seven years using the fake uh, COVID card. Nope, I'd rather go get the vaccine and take seven years for some sense for anything. Okay, so. Uh, you know, so right now I said WBO has pushed back Crawford, Sean Porter, purse bid to Tuesday, September 14th. Both fighters team requested an extension as they're now back in negotiations. Then they just said that Crawford and uh, Bob Barrow ain't even been speaking. Only way this working is going top ranked uh, pay per view. I heard you got Tank coming back in December. You got Wilder in October. You got uh, Oscar De La Hoya this month. You had Jake Paul and Ugas last month. So there ain't even a pay per view fight between him and Sean. They need to they need to redo the boxing pay scale. Even Al Hamer overpaying all his star fight ain't even worth that amount of money. Straight up and down. A lot of them, a lot of them ain't even worth the headache. You put them in there with somebody solid or somebody they can't figure out a style that's not good for them, they forget how to fight. That's my thing, but um So I, I mean I'm over it, bro. I'm over the whole welter weight waiting around division. Honestly, I'm over the whole thing because these boys busters, man. A lot of these dudes that don't want to fight, they busters, man. That's my problem. A lot of these dudes is busters, man. These dudes really don't want to fight nobody. And they sit here and talk all this shit, man, but they bust. I'd rather watch football. Because I know the best going to eventually, you know, we're going to get something close to the best fighting the best. Or the best uh, facing the best, but... But they had they had they had a whole year some change to make this to do this. Now they want to negotiate. Crawford wasn't even talking to his team. Let that sink in for a minute. Crawford wasn't even talking to his team. You know, all of a sudden not everybody happy happy. But they put it on their uh on the WBO Twitter site on their Twitter handle. Person bid a mandatory buy between Rossaway champion Crawford and Porter has been moved to September 14th. Filing a request from both promoter. Both promoters of uh, uh, promoters of both fighters, Crawford and Spence, uh, top ranked Crawford and TGB uh, promotions Porter.
Both companies requested additional time to continue ongoing negotiation. The purse bid was originally scheduled for Thursday, September 2nd at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time at WBO main office in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So what happened was is when they started streaming that shit, they knew Sean Porter was going to duck. And I think now they're going to try to make the fight. But my thing is, this, this, gotta go on, this can't go on PBC. Too many pay-per-views around that. So I don't care, man. If they fight, man, they fight. I'm not going to stress myself out about about somebody fighting and not fighting. I don't care. Because this ain't even a fight nobody asked for. This ain't Ugas. This ain't and Ugas already sparring Shakir Stevenson. This ain't Earl Spence. He already injured. This ain't Jabil Charlo. This ain't none of that. This ain't Keith Thurman. This ain't none of that. We wanted one fight and we had to wait years for it. We tired of that shit, man. In the NFL, we know the Super Bowl gonna be every before every year before the season start, we know the Super Bowl, even through COVID. In boxing, Ain't no Super Bowl. You got a whole bunch of subpar fighters dancing around and doing a ring around the Rosie. A bunch of subpar fighters ringing around the Ro Rosie. Like they fucking making money. Like they, like they the shit. They not. They not that good. That's my thing. They not that good to be sitting around here dancing like they kid and play. But, um... Maybe this might be live stream work. I don't know. I don't know if I feel like going live again. But Josh Taylor quote my I went live this morning if y'all didn't see it. Let's still look. Long term goal now is to become a two weight world champion and win a belt at what this is Josh Taylor. My long term goal is to be a two weight world champion, win a belt at what to where I believe I can beat these guys. Or, or Dennis Ugas, I sparred with him and it went really well. I dropped him one time as well. So I'm pretty confident. Ugas responded. With, some, with three serious face emojis and like five laughing emojis. But Ugas did say that, uh, Ugas did say he sparred Josh Taylor and he almost had to go to the hospital. But people don't understand how big Josh Taylor is. That motherfucker, like, got the. He tall. He like Tony Harrison height. He like me and, me and Tony Harrison a little bit taller than him. Tony like 6'1. I'm around 6'2, 6'1 ish. I think 6'2. I don't know if I'm shrinking. But, um,. But yeah, you know, they talked about this. Who got say, uh, it's back in here. Juice Josh Taylor almost hospitalized who got some sparring. So, like I said before, I mean, the fight would be totally different. That's sparring. But I told you from, from like, right here, Taylor, like, right where y'all at, he is, like, almost my height. He's a big a junior Walter Wade. So that don't surprise me. Him going to Walter Wade, if he able to carry the, if he able to carry the, the weight and carry the weight right, he gonna be a problem. He bigger than Spence. He bigger than Crawford. He bigger than Sean. He bigger than Keith. Um, he bigger than uh Jerron Ennis too, as far as stature, height, and frame. He bigger than Jared Hurd. I don't know if Jared Hurd was cutting weight then, but I, as soon as I see Josh, talk to him, I turned around, talk to Jared Hurd. His unless I was tripping, I wasn't impaired. I don't smoke. I don't fuck with the edibles, but he had a bigger frame than he, he was. So. That that's a big joker right there. That's a big guy right there. A lot of people, you know, I'm like, damn, that nigga almost taller than me. You know, I'm like, damn, he almost taller than me. Shit, what the fuck he eating? What what what, what he what he, he over there doing in the United Kingdom? <laughs> you know, shit almost bigger than me, bro. But like I said, people saying, you know, read the comments. Hold on. They said, how is it possible that the Robinson Casino do fire Valdez wasn't aware of the adverse finding and Oscar Valdez A sample, especially when he's promoted by Tyra. I had quote, I had no idea. I'm upset, said Casinko's manager, Oscar Valdez for supposed uh opponent, Sergio Bertelli. I learned from you by surprise. So they didn't even Bob Aram didn't even tell that's some Dillian White shit. He didn't even tell uh Oscar Valdez opponent September 10th that he popped high. They learned from uh, Mike Coventry, they said, but, um, mm -hmm. Damn. finish this off real quick. Oh, I'm on the wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The California Commission has declined to sanction David Hay versus Joe Fournier as a pro fight. September 11th, director, the, the executive director Andy Foster has revealed it is now an eight, uh, eight-round exhibition, two-minute rounds, a 12-ounce glove. So 
it won't go on their records. <laughs> okay, so you got some of the comments about Taylor and Ugas. Uh, Dripper Boxer said, didn't talk about Spencer Crawford last my last off because he didn't spark Spencer Crawford. Taylor fought three champions in a row. I didn't think he scared of both. I might respond to him. What I've been saying, Ugas is food at 47. That's Ronnie Boy Fresh. Salute to Ronnie Boy Fresh. Slim. I have doubt Taylor would beat Ugas if he was to beat him in another side topic. Eventually, I think he can beat Spencer and give Bud the hardest fight. That's D Damien 9612. So, I mean, Taylor loses or KO by all champs at 47. Peanut MGM, he don't know shit about boxing. I'm sorry, bro. He be trying to argue with me. I got to be like, shit, he don't know shit about boxing. Fuck, I'm arguing with him. But he's still cool. He don't know shit. He beat new guys. And I'm telling you, he beat Sean. He beat Keith. Um, like Spence, no. Especially Spence come back the way he was. Crawford, he got a chance because he just big as fuck. So, but I still got Crawford. But, like, people for people to see what I saw... He's a big dude, bro. He's a big dude. And I seen him rehydrated the day after. He's a big dude. So, um, this is my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, we're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Facebook group, link in the description. Reach out if you want to advertise on the channel. Video requests, chop it up. All my social media links there. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJGood313. Venmo, CJGood313. PayPal, link in the description. Best way to donate. Share the video. Thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the boxing. Well, to wait. Hold on. What we talk about? We forget. Yeah, what's the way? Playlist? Peace. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video, waiting for this live stream to start, or just watching the membership video, man, and why you should join the membership. Let's talk about it real quick, expeditiously. Um, we got the three levels. We got the rookie level. We got loyalty badges. You got custom emoji badges. And you have members on the live stream. As we get more people flowing in uh, to join the membership, I have members only live chat. That means everybody can see the video that want to see the video, but only members will be able to chat. That's three dollars as a rookie. Dog star, you get personal shout outs before the videos, maybe after the video, mostly likely before the videos. Um, you give a priority to reply in the chat. Um, so as soon as I see you, I reply before anybody else. Get early access to pretty much all my non-boxing videos um, there. $10 a month. Then we got the boxing pound for pound superstar for all my boxing boys and, and gals out there. Get early access to prediction and most of our boxing content, virtual video collaborations and open debate. So, you know, if you want to pre-record or go live and debate me for a whole video, you got you. you got early access to new videos, some of the videos in the All-Stars world too, and priority reply in the comments. So, I see in the comments you get priority reply. You know, instantly that's $20 a month. So, uh, let me know what you guys do, what you think. Don't have a Patreon no more. So, Here's where you're going to get some of that exclusive content I used to have on the Patreon. Peace.